The most common type of graph for quantitative data is the histogram. Today we'll talk about another type of graph for quantitative data called the stem and leaf plot. Stem and leaf plots are plots that we can make for quantitative data, which are the numbers. Here, I have some numbers. Let me take a look at a typical number here. Say this 503. If I cut off the very last digit, that very last digit is called a leaf. Everything before it is called a stem. So in my data here, the very last digit is going to be a leaf. Everything before that last digit is a stem. And the way we're going to make our stem leaf plot is we're going to first list out all the possible stems in my data. Okay, so the stem for 503 is 50. The stem for 499 is 49. 495 is 49. I have some 48s. What else do I have? I have some 51s, some 52s. So it looks like if I look at my stems, which is just the first two numbers in my data, I have 48 four all the way up to 52. So I'm going to list out all the possible stems. And then we're just going to go through our data. 503. So 503 is going to go with the 50, and we're just going to write the very last digit um, as a leaf. Okay, so the right side are going to be my leaves. So 503 is going to go with the 50, and we're just going to write the very last digit. Next up, 499. That's going to go with the 49, and we're just going to write the very last digit, which is the 9. Next, 495, that's going to go with the 49 again, and we're just going to write the very last digit. 501, that's going to go with the 50, and we're going to write the very last digit. 499, that's going to go with the 49 again. 503, that's going to go with the 50, and we just write the very last digit. 491, goes with the 49. 525, that's going to go with the 52, and you just write the very last digit. 480, that's going to go with the 48, and we're just going to write down the 0. 524, 494, 504, that's going to go with the 50. 517, just write the very last digit. 481, 522. 492, 505, 489, 519, 517, 525, 514, 510, 494, 519, 499. And then one last step, we need to order the leaves from smallest to largest. So I'm going to remake this picture. And put the leaves in order. So 019 is already in order. So 019. Okay, for the 4, 9, uh, these are not in order, so put this in order. It's going to go 1, 2, 2, 4s, a 5, and then 3, 9s. For my 5, 0 stem, I have a 1, 2, 3s, a 4, and a 5. For the 5, 1, I have 0, 4, 7, 7, and then 2 9s. And then finally for the 5, 2, 2, 4, 5, 5. And that's how you make a stem leaf plot. 
If you turn it sideways, it basically looks like a histogram. The nice thing about a stem and leaf plot is you can go backwards and get the original data. Here I have a stem and leaf plot. Let's go backwards and list out the original data. Remember, the way the stem and leaf plot works is the stems, which is the left part, tells you the first part of your number. And then each leaf represents the very last digit. So this one means 2.81. Okay, so 2.8 is the first part of your number, and then the one is the very last digit. The next one represents another 2.81. The two represents 2.82. The zero here represents 2.90. The 6 represents 2.96. So the stem tells you the first part of your number, and then each leaf, each digit on the right side here, is the very last digit of the number. This 2 is 3.02. The 8, that's 3.08. Another 8, that's another 3.08. The 9, 3.09. Now, I have a blank here. So if there's no leaf, that means there's no number that starts with 3.1. Okay, which means our next number is this 4. That's going to be 3.24. So let me write that down. No leaf. means that there's no number that starts with 3.1. And that's how you get the original data from a statement leaf plot. Have a great day. See you next time.